Morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today we're going to be reading Julia Donaldson, Axel Scheffler, Room on the Broom. Let's check it out. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore on a plate. How the cat poured and how the witch grinned uh, as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, he blew off the hat. Cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then, out of the bushes and thunder and pose, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom from a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to the head. But away blew the bow from the long ginger plate. Cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with the near splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in his beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and bush they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The birds shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of behind. The witch clutched her bow but let go on her wand. Cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes! said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and scratch, the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went, tumbling into a bog. The witch self broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a noise that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help! cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around but no help could be found. The dragon grew nearer and licking his lips said, 
Maybe this one's I love, which without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his face, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and fur. It had four frightful heads, it had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It tripped and squelched as he strode from the ditch, and he said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch! The dragon drew breath and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to help met you, but now I must fly and he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat and said the dog, and thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried, without you I'd be in the dragon inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone! Throw something in! So the frog found the lily, the cat found the cone, the bird found the twig and the dog found the bone. They threw them all in and the witch steered them well. And while she was steering, she muttered the spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! And then out rose a truly magnificent broom which sits for the witch, the dog and the cat, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Bye bye, boys and girls. Mm -hmm.